right. In today's Neighborhood Eats, bringing joy to her own life and the life of her customers. That sounds like a tall task, but it was Tara Glick's mission when she decided to open the Brick House ice cream shop in Brooklyn. Originally starting in Prospect, uh, Lefferts Park or Gardens there. Yeah, you see it there. Uh, her business was expanded very quickly thanks to unique flavors and her unique style. Ice cream really, when it comes down to it, it's only four or five ingredients. You know, if you're just drinking milk, you're just eating egg yolks on its own. Not very delicious, but I always say the secret ingredient to ice cream is magic. We have taken what we like best about American style ice cream and gelato style ice cream and mix those two together. And then sometimes we just throw out the rules. Um, we make what we think tastes good. We use a higher fat content, milk, cream, eggs, um, and we churn it at a lower rate so there's less air incorporated into the ice cream. So what you get is a more flavorful, a more creamy, and a more denser, chewy product. This is our signature Cracker Jack Sunday. It is two scoops of popcorn ice cream, caramel sauce, peanut brittle, caramel popcorn, and whipped cream. A lot of it's nostalgia based, you know, what did we eat in our childhood? We do have three signature flavors that are constantly in the rotation at all three shops. We have Basic V, which is our vanilla bean, our popcorn ice cream, which goes into our Cracker Jack Sundae, and then our Brick's Tracks, which is easily our most popular ice cream. It's a sweet cream ice cream with peanut butter, Oreos, and chocolate chips in it. When you're a chef, people love to ask you what's your favorite thing to make, and for me it was always ice cream. Ice cream was always a backbone in my dessert menus when I was a chef in the city. And then following the closure of my first restaurant in 2022, I needed to do something that brought more joy to myself and to other people. And so for me, that's ice cream. You know, everyone's always happy at the ice cream shop. Bricks is, first and foremost, it's the unit of measurement for sugar. I wanted a dog for so long, and I knew I wanted to name her something pastry related, but I didn't want it to be too cutesy. Um, so I decided to name her Bricks, and she is a six-year-old Boston Terrier French Bulldog mix total terror so when it was time to name the ice cream shop i thought you know obviously i have to name it after my only child so brick's house is named after her we've opened three locations in 15 months they're siblings they're not identical triplets but you can find all of our delicious ice cream at all three locations you want to get a nice long line, you want to roll it into a nice ball, you want to give someone a full scoop, you don't want to give anyone a sad half scoop. I actually have over 20 years experience scooping ice cream. My first job was down at the Jersey Shore scooping ice cream. It's kind of come full circle now. No <laughs> sad half scoops here. Oh, I so good. I didn't know bricks was the unit of measurement for sugar, and that's exactly how much sugar I would like, please. Bun <laughs> uh, You can head to abc7ny.com slash mornings at 10 for more neighborhood eats. What do you think, guys? It's, delicious. Ice it's great. It's pretty yeah, good. I can really taste the butter, which mm. is really important. Perfect breakfast, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I would like like mint chocolate chip. I'm a mint chocolate chip guy. Okay, well, be great. And this kind of, that. no, I was going to say, this kind of gives me some of those vibes. It's really good.